Hi, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Earlier this month, Intel released their new Core i7-980X desktop processor to market. And it's safe to say that this new 6-core chip is easily the fastest PC processor on the planet right now. Since then, OEMs have been lining up to get their systems ready with Intel's new chip. And we've got something in from Dell that's from anywhere else but this planet, <laughs> the Alienware Area 51 ALX Gaming PC. It's infused with Intel's new Core i7-980X desktop processor, and we're going to take it for a ride and show you what it's made of. Area 51 is based on an enormous full tower ATX chassis, and the delivery guy definitely got a workout dropping this gaming rig off at our doorstep. The system weighs in at 84 pounds, if you can believe that, and the box it ships in is enormous. However, the chassis design is significantly improved in our opinion versus previous generation Alienware systems with the rounded corners and bright colors. Now design cues are much more angular and sleek and it almost has a muscle car kind of feel. Its aluminum exterior has a really nice build quality fit and finish. And there's nice lighting accents on the side and front and top here in this ventilation system which is actually mechanized. And these louvers will lift up or close down depending on the heat inside the case and the fan speed and allow more ventilation to the top. Also, just press the alien face and down drops the front panel, exposing your optical drive base. On the top front of the system is the hard drive indicator light, a power button, and if you push down this panel door, you expose three USB ports, eSATA, Firewire, and front panel audio ports. Alright, so once you're inside the new Alienware Area 51, you'll note that the system is designed with impeccable build quality and bleeding edge technologies. As we mentioned earlier, the system is based on an Intel Core i7-980X Extreme Edition 6-core processor. And that processor is cooled by this self-contained water cooling system right here. That looks a lot like an Asetek LC-LC self-contained water cooling system or perhaps a Corsair H50. But it's branded with an Alienware logo, so it's some sort of third-party um, private label deal going on there. Regardless, this system has a radiator that resides up here, and these two tubes transfer liquid cooling to and from the processor. So it keeps things real cool under pressure, especially with overclocking. Open the hatch door here, and you are looking at a pair of ATI Radeon HD 5970 graphics cards with two graphics processors per card, four total for the system, in what AMD ATI calls Crossfire X mode. So four graphics processors for working on that uh, rendering workload for gaming. And then here is six gig of DDR3-1333 system memory. And the motherboard is a custom X58 chipset based motherboard by Dell Alienware. And you can see there's a chipset cooler right here as well. So it's actively cooled. Uh, up front is a drive rack for optical storage. In this case, we've got a Blu-ray drive. Let's flip around on the back side of the system and take a look at the hard drive storage system next. All right, so here we are on the flip side of the case. We've gone ahead and popped the hatch door here as well. And we're looking at the hard drive cage area of the case, and it's actually quite an impressive wall of storage. Uh, there are actually six three and a half inch standard serial ATA hard drive base here. The area is illuminated with these lights, just like we saw on the component side of the case. And by the way, this lighting is battery backed. So you don't have to have the system turned on or plugged in to have these lights come on when you open the hatch. It's actually quite nice for working uh, if the system is off. The drives that are populated in here are actually a pair of Seagate one terabyte Barracuda 7200.12 hard drives. They're 7200 RPM drives and they're configured in RAID 0. You have four more options of uh, available drive bays to populate here, but the drive bays are not hot swappable. The release mechanism is actually quite handy though. You just pop those two levers right there and the drive slides up, disconnects from the serial ATA power and data connector right here, and you can take a drive out and put another drive in. But again, these are not hot swappable drive bays. Where it is that Dell is preparing a hot swap technology for future versions of the Area 51, but right now these are standard serial ATA drive bays, not hot swap, but quick release mechanisms and, and very efficient in here as well. And on the software side of things, in addition to Windows 7, Dell's Alienware division does a pretty good job of bundling in some handy utilities with this enthusiast class system. Here we are in the Alienware command center, and we're specifically looking at the thermal management portion. And you can see we're looking at things like 
various temperatures inside the case. There's three different sensors here, as well as system fan speed for the chassis, hard drive fan speed, that's for the hard drive rack, and the CPU pump speed for the cooling system, the water cooling system, that's keeping the processor cool. Let's take a look at venting. On the venting panel, you can actually adjust the position of the top vents in the case. And you can see, we just clicked apply. These louvers are going to open up and fan speeds will actually spool up a little bit as well should you need to pull some additional air inside the case for cooling. And finally, if you were paying attention, you may have noticed that the case lighting for the Area 51 actually changed a little bit from shot to shot here in our video so far. Here we are in the Alien FX portion of the command center, and you have the ability to change the case lighting in the Area 51 in various areas of the case with virtually every color of the rainbow available to you. So we'll go ahead and change the side panel colors and we'll then go ahead to another area and change that. Why don't we change that alien head over and let's finish up the top vents as well. So some real nice customization options available in alien effects with respect to lighting. On the back of the system are a pair of legacy PS2 keyboard and mouse ports, optical audio output, six USB ports, Firewire, eSATA, and a pair of gigabit ethernet LAN ports. The system also supports 7.1 high definition digital audio, surround sound audio, and it comes equipped with a pair of AMD ATI Radeon graphics cards. So there's four dual link DVI ports, as well as two mini display ports. Incidentally, this graphic system also supports ATI's iFinity multi-panel gaming technology. And the power supply is actually modular. So you just pop down this lever and the power supply slides right out. Now, in terms of horsepower, as we mentioned earlier, our system came configured with an Intel Core i7-980X six-core processor with Intel hyper-threading technology. What this allows is the processor to represent 12 logical cores to the operating system or process two threads per core. Here we're running Cinebench, which is a 3D rendering program. And as you can see, we're processing 12 threads, 12 slices of this image simultaneously. So lots of workstation horsepower under the hood for the Area 51. And of course, what the Area 51 does best is gaming. And here we are running Dirt 2, which is a new DirectX 11 based title. So bleeding edge game technology here and we're running at a resolution of 1920 by 1200 with 8x AA turned on so the visuals are perfectly smooth and nice and crisp and we're getting a frame rate of about 133 to 135 frames per second out of that pair of ATI Radeon HD 5970 graphics cards four GPUs running in crossfire mode so tons of performance for just about any game title you could throw at it and we could even run a 30 inch panel at 2560 by 1600 resolution and get completely smooth playable frame rates with this graphic subsystem so lots of horsepower under the hood the area 51 by alienware courtesy of dell stop by the site for the full review with all of our benchmark details i'm dave altavilla for hot hardware thanks for stopping by